Christians listen are people who follow or adhere to Christianity, a monotheistic Abrahamic religion based on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. The words Christ and Christian derive from the Koine Greek title Christos, Christos a translation of the Biblical Hebrew term Mashiach, Messiah. While there are diverse interpretations of Christianity which sometimes conflict, they are united in believing that Jesus has a unique significance. The term, Christian, is also used as an adjective to describe anything associated with Christianity, or in a proverbial sense, all that is noble, and good, and Christ-like. According to a 2011 Pew Research Center survey, there were 2.2 billion Christians around the world in 2010, up from about 600 million in 1910. By 2050, the Christian population is expected to exceed 3 billion. According to a 2012 Pew Research Center survey Christianity will remain the world's largest religion in 2050, if current trends continue. Today, about 37% of all Christians live in the Americas, about 26% live in Europe, 24% live in Sub-Saharan Africa, about 13% live in Asia and the Pacific, and 1% live in the Middle East and North Africa. About half of all Christians worldwide are Catholic, while more than a third are Protestant 37%. Orthodox communions comprise 12% of the world's Christians. Other Christian groups make up the remainder. Christians make up the majority of the population in 158 countries and territories. 280 million Christians live as a minority. Christians have made noted contributions to a range of fields, including the sciences, arts, politics, literatures and business. According to 100 Years of Nobel Prizes, a review of Nobel Prizes awarded between 1901 and 2000 reveals that of Nobel Prizes laureates identified Christianity in its various forms as their religious preference. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The Greek word Christianos, Christianos, meaning follower of Christ, comes from Christos, Christos, meaning anointed one, with an adjectival ending borrowed from Latin to denote adhering to, or even belonging to, as in slave ownership. In the Greek Septuagint, Christos was used to translate the Hebrew Messiah, 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 meaning one who is anointed. In other European languages, equivalent words to Christian are likewise derived from the Greek, such as chrétien in French and cristiano in Spanish. <laughs> Early usage The first recorded use of the term or its cognates in other languages is in the New Testament in Acts chapter 11 verse 26 after Barnabas brought Saul Paul to Antioch where they taught the disciples for about a year the text says The disciples were called Christians first in Antioch The second mention of the term follows in Acts chapter 26 verse 28 where Herod Agrippa II replied to Paul the apostle then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. The third and final New Testament reference to the term is in 1 Peter 4, verse 16, which exhorts believers, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Kenneth Samuel Wuist holds that all three original New Testament verses usages reflect a derisive element in the term Christian to refer to followers of Christ who did not acknowledge the Emperor of Rome. The city of Antioch, where someone gave them the name Christians, had a reputation for coming up with such nicknames. However Peter's apparent endorsement of the term led to its being preferred over Nazarenes. And the term Christianoi from 1 Peter becomes the standard term in the early church fathers from Ignatius and Polycarp onwards. The earliest occurrences of the term in non Christian literature include Josephus, referring to the tribe of Christians, so named from him, Pliny the Younger in correspondence with Trajan, and Tacitus, writing near the end of the first century. In the Annals he relates that, by vulgar appellation, they were commonly called Christians and identifies Christians as Nero's scapegoats for the Great Fire of Rome. <inaudible> Nazarenes Another term for Christians which appears in the New Testament is, "...Nazarenes". Jesus is named as a Nazarene in Math 2.23, while Saul Paul is said to be Nazarene in Acts 24 verse 5. 
The latter verse makes it clear that Nazarene also referred to the name of a sect or heresy, as well as the town called Nazareth. The term Nazarene was also used by the Jewish lawyer Tertullus against Marcion 4 which records that, "...the Jews call us Nazarenes." While around 331 AD Eusebius records that Christ was called a Nazarene from the name Nazareth, and that in earlier centuries, "...Christians," were once called, "...Nazarenes." The Hebrew equivalent of, "...Nazarenes," Nazrim, occurs in the Babylonian Talmud, and is still the modern Israeli Hebrew term for Christian. <laughs> modern usage Definition A wide range of beliefs and practices is found across the world among those who call themselves Christian. Denominations and sects disagree on a common definition of «Christianity». For example, Timothy Beale notes the disparity of beliefs among those who identify as Christians in the United States as follows, although all of them have their historical roots in Christian theology and tradition, and although most would identify themselves as Christian, many would not identify others within the larger category as Christian. Most Baptists and fundamentalists Christian fundamentalism, for example, would not acknowledge Mormonism or Christian science as Christian. In fact, the nearly 77% of Americans who self-identify as Christian are a diverse pluribus of Christianities that are far from any collective unity. Linda Woodhead attempts to provide a common belief thread for Christians by noting that, "...whatever else they might disagree about, Christians are at least united in believing that Jesus has a unique significance." Philosopher Michael Martin, in his book The Case Against Christianity, evaluated three historical Christian creeds the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed and the Athanasian Creed to establish a set of basic assumptions which include belief in theism, the historicity of Jesus, the Incarnation, salvation through faith in Jesus, and Jesus as an ethical role model. <laughs> Hebrew terms. The identification of Jesus as the Messiah is not accepted by Judaism. The term for a Christian in Hebrew is nawozari Natsri, Nazarene, a Talmudic term originally derived from the fact that Jesus came from the Galilean village of Nazareth, today in northern Israel. Adherents of Messianic Judaism are referred to in modern Hebrew as Yedim Messihim, Yehudim Messihim, Messianic Jews. Arabic terms In Arabic-speaking cultures, two words are commonly used for Christians, Nasrani, Enesraini plural Nasara Enseri is generally understood to be derived from Nazareth through the Syriac Aramaic, Masihi Masihi means followers of the Messiah. Where there is a distinction, Nasrani refers to people from a Christian culture and Masihi is used by Christians themselves for those with a religious faith in Jesus. In some countries Nasrani tends to be used generically for non-Muslim Western foreigners, e.g., blonde people, another Arabic word sometimes used for Christians, particularly in a political context, is Salabi crusader", from Salab cross", which refers to crusaders and has negative connotations. However, Salabi is a modern term. Historically, Muslim writers described European Christian crusaders as al Faranj or al Franj, al and Faringia, al in Arabic. This word comes from the name of the Franks and can be seen in the Arab history text Al Kamil fi al Tariq by Ali ibn al Athir. Asian terms The most common Persian word is Masihi, Masihi from Arabic. Other words are Nasrani, Enesrani from Syriac for Nazarene, and Tarsa, Tursa from Middle Persian word Tarsak, also meaning Christian, derived from Tars, meaning fear, respect. An old Kurdish word for Christian frequently in usage was Fele, F coming from the root word meaning to be saved or attain salvation. The Syriac term Nasrani Nazarene has also been attached to the St. Thomas Christians of Kerala, India. In the Indian subcontinent, Christians call themselves Isai Hindi, Isai Urdu, Isai and are also known by this term to adherents of other religions. 
This is related to the name they call Jesus, Isa Masi, and literally means the followers of Isa. In the past, the Malays used to call the Portuguese Sarani from the Arabic Nasrani, but the term now refers to the modern Christian Creoles of Malaysia. In Indonesian language, the term Nasrani is also used alongside with Kristen. The Chinese word is Ji Du Tu, pinyin, Jidu Tu, literally, Christ follower. The two characters now pronounced Jidu in Mandarin Chinese were originally used phonetically to represent the name of Christ. In Vietnam, the same two characters read Ko Doc, and a follower of Christianity is a Tin Du Ko Doc Gao. In Japan, the term Kirishitan written in Edo period documents Ji Li Ji Dan, Chi Ji Dan, and in modern Japanese histories as Kirishitan, from Portuguese Cristeo, referred to Roman Catholics in the 16th and 17th centuries before the religion was banned by the Tokugawa shogunate. Today, Christians are referred to in standard Japanese as Kirisuto Jiao Tu, Kirisuto Kyoto, or the English derived term Kurasuchin Kurasuchin. Korean still uses Gidagyodo, Kidak Kyo Du for Christian, though the Greek form Kurisuto Gulisuto has now replaced the old Sino Korean Kidak, which refers to Christ himself. In Thailand, the most common terms are Kung Christ or Cha Christ, which literally mean Christ person, people or Jesus person, people. The Thai word Christ Krit is derived from Christ. <inaudible> Russian terms The region of modern Eastern Europe and Central Eurasia Russia, Ukraine and other countries of the former Soviet bloc has a long history of Christianity and Christian communities on its lands. In ancient times, in the first centuries after the birth of Christ, when this region was called Scythia, the geographical area of Scythians, Christians already lived there. Later the region saw the first states to adopt Christianity officially, initially Armenia 301 AD and Georgia 337 AD, later Bulgaria c. 864 and the Great Russian Principality Kievan Rus, Russian, Velikoy Nazestvo Rusko c. 988 AD. In some areas, people of that time came to denote themselves as Christians Russian, Rischiani Krestain and as Russians Russian, both terms had strong Christian connotations. In time the Russian term, Krestain acquired the meaning, peasants of Christian faith, and later, peasants, the main part of the population of the region, while the term, Rischiani retained its religious meaning and the term, Ruski. Ruskia began to mean representatives of the heterogeneous Russian nation formed on the basis of common Christian faith and language, which strongly influenced the history and development of the region. In the region the term, Pravoslav faith, Russian, Pravoslavna Vera Orthodox faith or Russian faith, Russian, Ruska Vera from earliest times became almost as known as the original, Christian faith, Ristianska a Krestanska Vera. Also in some contexts the term, Cossack. Russian Kozak free man by the will of God was used to denote free Christians of steppe origin and Russian language topic other non-religious usages nominally Christian societies made Christian a default label for citizenship or for people like us in this context, religious or ethnic minorities can use Christians or you Christians loosely as a shorthand term for mainstream members of society who do not belong to their group, even in a thoroughly secular though formerly Christian society. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. As of the early 21st century, Christianity has approximately 2.4 billion adherents. The faith represents about a third of the world's population and is the largest religion in the world. Christians have composed about 33% of the world's population for around 100 years. The largest Christian denomination is the Roman Catholic Church, with 1.17 billion adherents, representing half of all Christians. Christianity remains the dominant religion in the Western world, where 70% are Christians. 
According to a 2012 Pew Research Center survey, if current trends continue, Christianity will remain the world's largest religion by the year 2050. By 2050, the Christian population is expected to exceed 3 billion. While Muslims have an average of 3.1 children per woman, the highest rate of all religious groups, Christians are second, with 2.7 children per woman. High birth rates and conversion were cited as the reason for Christian population growth. A 2015 study found that approximately 10.2 million Muslims converted to Christianity. Christianity is growing in Africa, Asia, Latin America, the Muslim world, and Oceania. Socioeconomics According to a study from 2015, Christians hold the largest amount of wealth, 55% of the total world wealth, followed by Muslims, 5.8%, Hindus, 3.3%, and Jews, 1.1%. According to the same study, it was found that adherents under the classification irreligion or other religions hold about 34.8% of the total global wealth. A study done by the nonpartisan wealth research firm New World Wealth found that 56.2% of the 13.1 million millionaires in the world were Christians. A Pew Center study about religion and education around the world in 2016 found that Christians ranked as the second most educated religious group around in the world after Jews with an average of 9.3 years of schooling, and the highest numbers of years of schooling among Christians were found in Germany, New Zealand, and Estonia. Christians were also found to have the second highest number of graduate and postgraduate degrees per capita while in absolute numbers ranked in the first place 220 million. Between the various Christian communities, Singapore outranks other nations in terms of Christians who obtain a university degree in institutions of higher education 67%, followed by the Christians of Israel 63%, and the Christians of Georgia 57%. .According to the study, Christians in North America, Europe, Middle East, North Africa and Asia-Pacific regions are highly educated since many of the world universities were built by the historic Christian churches, in addition to the historical evidence that Christian monks built libraries and, in the days before printing presses, preserved important earlier writings produced in Latin, Greek and Arabic." According to the same study, Christians have a significant amount of gender equality in educational attainment, and the study suggests that one of the reasons is the encouragement of the Protestant reformers in promoting the education of women, which led to the eradication of illiteracy among females in Protestant communities. Noted individuals Christians have made noted contributions to a range of fields, including philanthropy, philosophy, ethics, literature, business and economics, fine arts and architecture, music, theater and medicine, as well as science and technology, both historically and in modern times. Eastern Christians, particularly Nestorian Christians, contributed to the Arab Islamic civilization during the Umayyad and the Abbasid periods by translating works of Greek philosophers to Syriac and afterwards to Arabic. They also excelled in philosophy, science, theology and medicine. See also